All right, first graders. So today we are going to start your background for our mosaic project that is inspired by the artist Alma Thomas. So the first thing you are going to do is write your name in class code on the back of a square white piece of paper. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a circle. You're gonna choose either hot color or cold color from these circles that I already cut out for you. And we're gonna cut this into four equal pieces or fourths. So to do that, I'm gonna fold my circle in half. So when I open this up right now, I have two halves, but I need four. So I'm going to keep it folded and then fold it in half again. So it makes a little pie shape. So then when I open my circle up, I have one, two, three, four quarters, two, one line down and one line across. So now I'm gonna cut on those lines so I have my four pieces. So now I've got my four pieces. I'm going to choose one of these that will go in the corner of my background right there. And that is going to be our guideline for all of our curved lines that we're going to add. Make sure the edges of my yellow paper are lined up with the edges of my white paper right there in the corner. And now I'm ready to start my stripes that are going to grow out from this center. So since I chose a hot color for my paper, I'm going to choose the hot colors of paint. So you want to make sure that your paints match whatever you picked for your center circle. So if you chose a cold color circle, you could choose cold color paints. And then today, we are actually not going to paint with a brush. We're going to paint with this cardboard little scrap piece of paper. So the way that we're going to do this is dip your piece of cardboard into a color of paint and then dip the other side into another color of paint. So I've got two colors on my cardboard right now. Then we're going to scrape this onto our paper following that circle. So I'm gonna start over here on the edge and I'm going to press down and scrape following my circle, just like that. And I've got a little bit of white space right there so I could flip it and add a little bit more paint right there. Or you could just leave it. It's okay if we have a little bit of white spots today. Then I am just gonna scrape off my piece of cardboard and try it again. So maybe I'll do pink this time and orange. So now I'm going to line it up on top of the yellow stripe and I'm going to pull my cardboard and it ran out faster this time. So I'm going to go ahead and reload my cardboard with pink and orange, just like I did last time. This time I'm gonna start where it kind of started to get a little bit less paint on it right there. And I'm gonna start dragging. There you go. So remember, this is our background. So your stripes do not have to be perfect. And like I said, if you have some white spots in there, like I do, it's okay. But you could go over it with your piece of cardboard and just kind of smooth them out if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going until I get to the very top. And I am at the very top of my paper. So part of this is gonna go off my paper a little bit and that's okay. So I'm, I'm gonna fit one last stripe up here with my red. And right here, my cardboard's bigger than my paper, but that's okay. Cause I want it to go off the page.
okay? And then for this triangle up in here that's left, there's a couple things you could do. You could either just take one color and kind of fill it in with your cardboard, or you could just make smaller stripes, shorter stripes in that area. So I'll just fit one and two. All right, and there we go. So when you're finished, you should have a quarter of a circle in the corner and then curved lines that fill up the rest of your paper going all the way up to that little corner up there. So once it's finished, you can put it on the drain rack and clean up your table.